we're going to do a soup, a Venetian soup. And you have to start with squash. Now, let me tell you, in Venice, squash is a little sweeter than the squash that we get here. But I like to use butternut and acorn squash in combination. That kind of approximates the flavor of Venetian squash. And so we're going to make something called Zuppa di Succa al Mascarone. So go and buy some beautiful looking squash. And then all you want to do is cut it up. And you want to be careful when you cut squash because, of course, it rolls around. So with a sharp knife, take a piece off the bottom so the squash lies flat. And then cut right down with a sharp knife. And there you see you have all of the seeds, and we have to get those out. You could actually cook it with the seeds in and then take the seeds out later, but I like to get them out before I even start. So with a, either an ice cream scoop or with a uh, soup spoon, just get all those seeds out. Just cut the squash up into quarters, like that. This is going to take, oh, about 25 to 30 minutes to cook in a 350 degree oven. And here we have our butternut squash already in our pan with some water. And now I'm going to add the acorn squash and put this in the oven covered with a piece of foil. This is such an easy recipe. You can make this ahead and then you'll have it for company or if you want to start your dinner early in the day. So my oven is already on 350 and I'm going to put that in and let that go until I can come back and a knife inserted in that comes out just very, very soft. So while that's cooking, we want to get the flavorings ready that go with that. And for it, I'm going to be using leeks. And now leeks are a member of the onion family. They're much milder in flavor. And here's what leeks look like when you go to buy them, or maybe you have them in your garden. And you want to make sure that you're getting leeks that don't have a lot of brown spots on the foliage. And we're going to be using just this part of the leek. So when you get it home, you want to cut it up, take off the root end, and then cut down and look inside to see if these are dirty because very often lots of dirt is housed right in the center of the leek. So you want to clean those really well in cold water. And then once you have that, well then you just want to cut them up. And we're going to be using two leeks here today. Just cut them up. Here we have some leeks that have been finely chopped up and that's going to make this cook very quickly. So we want to put this in our pan with the butter and then just let this go. I want to give this a little bit of a stir. And here is the squash that we did earlier. Pays to get up early, you know. And now, you see how soft that is. And all we have to do is put this into a food processor. So I'm going to move my food processor over. If you didn't have a food processor, you could do this in a blender. And just scrape out the flesh. All of this goes into the food processor. So now I put in the acorn squash, and all of this gets pureed up together while the leeks are cooking. This goes together very, very quickly. You could actually do the squash part, as I say, the night before. And get it really soft and even looking. So take a look at it. If it looks a little chunky, then you need to go back and do a little bit more of a puree. So now, let's see how we're doing here. This is looking good. We want to have some chicken broth ready. And here we have hot chicken broth. And I like to use this hot when I put it in with the leeks so that it doesn't bring down the temperature of the cooking of the leek. So I'm just going to add a little bit of this, about three to four tablespoons go in with the leeks. And I'm just going to allow that to wilt down. The rest of this is going to go in here. And if you wanted to use canned chicken broth, you could. So I used about two cups of chicken broth. And now I'm going to put the top back on again and whirl that up one more time. Easy, huh? The leeks look like they're ready to go. And this is going to give this a really nice flavor, but I want to pulverize the leeks 
So they all go in. And now we do the same thing that we just did. So I'm going to put the soup right back in. Look at how pretty that looks. And with it, just to, you know, gild the lily a little bit, we want to add some half and half. And here I'm using just low fat half and half. About a half a cup goes in. Just kind of smooths out the texture of this soup. And then we want to give that a little bit of salt. And if you have sea salt, it's even better to use. It has a nicer flavor. And no pepper. Here we're going to be using a little bit of nutmeg. And if you can use whole nutmeg, do it, because it's a much better flavor. Now that's all that we have to do to that. So I'm going to put this over on the back burner when we're ready to serve it. We want to use some beautiful looking radicchio. I'm going to just chop some of that up for you. A few little choppings of regular radicchio that I got out of my garden. And we're going to just going to set this aside just like that. And later on, we're going to add that as the topping to the soup.